We just turned this craft room into this craft room and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we, and we have a new video each week. This week, we're going big. Kim's a little ambitious. Well, I wouldn't say ambitious, it's January. And you know what the great thing about January is? I have a couple of organization projects that I wanna do. So we did this wall, what I think in February of last year, which I love, yeah. I love this love wall. It. Love it. And it's great, look at how much stuff it stores on it, we could store on it. But it's not everything, and the rest of this room is... A wreck. It's it's okay, I mean, it's okay, but I can do better. So I have some new storage ideas, organization ideas that I want to implement for what Garrett calls the new season. The which, new season. Yes. Yeah, so new we, season, a new studio. Uh, we started our first video we ever put up was January 13th. This will be, this January will be uh, three years, right? Three years. Three years. So I am ready to do, and every time, basically at the beginning of each year, we do something new and different. So I want to do organization for this year, and I want to redo that side of the room and the floors. And it's a lot of work, and <laughs> Karen isn't super stoked on it. I am not. But I can't wait to show you what we do. We have some new ideas that I think that you can implement, and we'll just kind of, they're right now, they're still ideas. So we'll just see. You can walk through this little transformation with me and we'll see if we can bring them to fruition. <laughs> oh, it, it'll happen. It might just be painful. <laughs> yeah, my knees, my back. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. My <laughs> knees, my back. Mm -hmm. Not a spring chicken, Kim. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. Step one, a demolition. Was, that was my demolition move. Yeah, you I like see that? it. I see it. So we're going to rip everything out. Well, we have the shiplap on that wall. If you guys remember the video over here, cheap DIY shiplap. We're going to pull that down, pull the trim off, pull the carpet out. The thing is, we're in a pretty small room up here. This yeah. is the room over the garage. Uh, so I can't take everything out of this room. We don't have that luxury. We have some pretty big items like this table here. It is on casters and I can roll it but I can't remove it um, because we're just up a flight of stairs. So we are going to have to shove everything to one side of the room, demo, and then push it all back, demo, push it over again and start laying the floors. So you yeah. can- uh, A lot of moving. Yeah, we, we did this once before in a previous house we laid some floor. Uh, before we ever had a YouTube channel and that's what we had to do. We pushed everything to one side Yeah, we started the floor pushed it back and it worked out great. It so. worked out fine. Yep So Which that's what we're gonna do Since we're pulling up the carpet and we'll be laying down that laminate We can do some break dancing Yeah We'll look forward to that Garrett yeah. <laughs> Spring chicken. Everybody will <laughs> Change of plans. We're gonna leave the trim on and see how it does. Uh, why do more work than we have to? Right, so uh, when we pulled up part of the carpet here, we could see that the trim is going to be close to the right amount of distance from the subfloor. So when I put the laminate flooring under the trim, so we're gonna put a piece of cord around to hide that. So we don't think we'll need to remove the trim. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and add the wallpaper before we finish pulling up this carpet. Peel and stick. Yes, Peel today's stick. wallpaper, I mean, you can go super professional, but I did this in my office upstairs and it looked great. So we're gonna use the same peel and stick paper uh, for this wall here. So a couple of tips about this wallpaper. So this one, this is called, I hope you can see that. This brand is New Wallpaper Peel and Stick from Wall Pops. This comes from Home Depot. Uh, the trick of, with getting this wallpaper is you always want to use the same lot number. So ours happens to be GS32 and we made sure we have enough wallpaper to cover this whole wall. So these are 18 inches, no, 18 feet long. 18 feet, 20 and a half inches wide. Yes. 
So uh, the instructions say to draw a straight line 20 inches from the flat wall in the corner, which I'm about to do, and then make sure that line is level, and then start your first piece. We're going to start from work our way from top to bottom. After we draw a straight line, we're going to peel back the paper backing on this sticky wallpaper, and you're going to peel that down about 12 inches, and then apply that first 12 inches to the wall and then you'll just peel the paper backing use your smoother to smooth over it as you apply your full, first full strip. So each of these has a pattern repeat. You've got to find the pattern repeat. They don't all start in the same place. So as I per pull out the first couple here I'm looking for my pattern repeat and I can see this one starts right here. So here you can see there's probably four or five inches at the top of this one before the pattern starts again. So as you apply your first strip, you'll need to pay attention and determine where your pattern repeat is. Wall is up, a wall is popping, it looks so real, you might get a splinter. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there he, she just got a splinter, I'm That's telling such you. A nerd. <laughs> in true fashion of just in time DIY, we're ready to do the floor, so we're gonna go to the home improvement store and pick out the flooring. We have a general idea of what we're looking for. I know exactly what I'm going to get. I just want options. I want to look around and see if there's something I want better. He is giving me a hard time because I want to look around. But I already have it picked out. I know they have the quantity we need. We just have to go get it. All right. But while I'm there, in case something else, like what if something's on clearance and it's perfect and we save some money, right? Okay, I get it. Yes, I agree then. <laughs> Saving money, he won me over. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready for day two, phase two. The wall is done. We got back last night, late last night with the flooring. See, I told you they had it in stock. This isn't the stuff we went for, just so you know. It is, it's just a different color variation. I decided that this was more, had a little more browns and grays in it so I could decorate it either way over time. Um, so that's it's, what we've got. It's supposed to be a floating floor, it says, Minor subflooring imperfections will be covered up, so we're not even gonna lay any. Yeah. Um, we're not even gonna lay any underlayment. Yes. We're just gonna lay this right down. So, first things first, we gotta remove all the carpet. We're gonna cut it in strips, roll it up, tape it up, throw it out the window. We have, that is like the best luxury, is that we can throw it right out these windows into the alleyway behind our house. So, I mean, we don't even have to lug it down the stairs. So this is like, yeah. a, I'm telling you, this is an easy project. Oh, that's that's what makes it an easy project. Yeah, I've been, doing a, I've been doing a lot of convincing over the last couple of days. Yes, she was just talking to all of the kids, trying to convince them about how easy this is going We have to a bunch today. of them here to help us today. You, you'll see them, you'll see them in the fast forward. None of them want to be on film. <laughs> All right, let's start ripping this carpet up. Let's do it. going to stagger it. This first row I'm going to leave a whole plank. The next row I'm going to cut six inches off and put 12 inches down. And then the next row I'm going to start with six inches so that it's staggered so that the seams don't line up. Give it a little whack with the mount. Yeah these are like I said this is just a floating floor so you don't have to put anything underneath and they just lock into each other 
Well, we gotta do it the right yeah. way. <laughs> we just lock these in and you can't even see it. Tap it down with a rubber mallet, we're good to go. All right, this is where my knees take the toll. store for some quarter round and some two by fours to make our table, which we'll do in the morning. table behind us but we found a really good deal so uh, we're doing this instead of building. Tables are in, they're together, they're looking beautiful. Way better than the DIY ones we were going to do. After pricing the wood, these actually came out to be about the same price. Minus half of the cutting and the labor. These and are just screwed together. And I think that's simply because of the time of year or the economic conditions that we're in right now with COVID and there is a lumber shortage and so prices are extremely high so we were yeah. going to build our tables with two by fours uh, and plywood but by the time you add a couple of shelves and two plywood tops you know a top and a shelf it ends up being the same price as these really nice tables that we ended up picking up these have steel legs and a thick top yeah, so you can get these on Amazon. We'll put a link to them down below. And we'll show you some close-ups. But our next step is to, it's that we're on the home stretch here, just so you know. We're finally getting to the home stretch. We're going to install some metal pegboard shelving. Is it heavy? Um, no, no, it's not that heavy. Oh man, it's a little bit heavy. No, it's sturdy. It's it's yeah. metal, so you can get you get the gist of it. But you know, we love our pegboard that we were standing in front of on the opposite wall. It's actually over there, uh, and found that we really can't live without it. So yeah. this is a new version of peg pegboard that we could purchase and not have to build again. That was a big project. It's beautiful, but it was a big project. So new floor, new wall, new pegboard. New table, new year, yeah, new we're season. Really, we're really excited. So let us show you how we install this pegboard and we'll be close to wrapping this project up. Since we can't hit the studs, we're gonna use these drywall anchors. So we have to mark the holes and drill for each one. Thank you. 
All right, we're finally finished. We're almost pretty much finished. Almost, <laughs> almost finished. What we don't have yet, and you can see it's a big open space, is our logo. We did decide to keep our logo that we've had, and we're gonna do some merchandise with some of the other logos, some fun stuff. But we will put our existing logo right here behind us to add some color and give it a little more pop. Yeah. But I can't tell you how excited and happy I am <laughs> with this new background. Um, I, it just, it, it's so much more space for us. I yeah. love these two tables back here. We can now keep our Cricut out, the pocket saws out, the Glowforge is out. Everything is right here at our fingertips. And I love all of this pegboard. I think the pegboard we made on the other wall was just a big, just made us spoiled because then everything was like literally right behind us. Yeah. So now we have that same thing. We have all of our Cricut tools, our markers. Well, my vinyl, most of my vinyl is still over here. This is for some aesthetics here. <laughs> our hot glue guns, all of our paints. There's just so much right here at our fingertips. And then these tables, we didn't get the ones with the drawers. We really debated, um, but I didn't feel like I had a lot of flat stuff. I have bigger stuff. So yeah. we ended up adding some carts under here and now we can roll those around. I am super, super excited about it. And Almost everything is on wheels also. Yes, Except yes. the tables, everything else is on wheels. So we can configure most everything. Right, so if we decide we want to flip it around, we can flip it around. <laughs> we might be back over there next week. We don't know. <laughs> no, we won't. I'm, I'm excited to do. We have not had the opportunity yet to do a new project with this setup, so I look forward to being able to reach back and grab my scissors and have everything right here at my fingertips. And this was pretty easy. I mean, it was fairly I think the wallpaper was probably the hardest. And that but the wallpaper was pretty just, easy. Yeah, because all you had to do was stick it on and it looks great. I mean, honestly, this adhesive wallpaper is great stuff. So it's way better than having to paste it yourself. Oh yeah, way better. And the floor, that was pretty easy. Time consuming. All of these time things consuming. took a little time. Um, but we were able to do this in an afternoon. We did the wall in an afternoon. We did the floor in a day. Um, I guess you came back and added the little uh, quarter round molding yep, around the baseboards later. But took that, me like 30 minutes. Yeah, that didn't take very long either. Uh, we still have some things left we wanted to do uh, that we haven't finished yet. So now that we've finished this side of the room, we can keep filming um, where the windows are here. I think you'll show in some pictures. I want to put some drapes up up here, some sort of... Um, dust catcher, know. some kind of dust yeah, that's what he calls them. <laughs> Some sort of Roman shades is what I really want to put up there. Oh, and yeah. paint that wall. I want it to be a really light gray. Uh, it's pretty washed out in the video, so you probably can't see the gray in the wallpaper. And then I want to put this wallpaper on that wall over there. I didn't get an opportunity to do that because I have to take down all of the pegboard over there and that's going to be quite a job so yeah. there's a few extra things to do but for now our new set yeah. is ready to go so i am about out of time and hungry <laughs> so uh, we're gonna head out and grab a bite to eat and we will see you uh, next week where we'll do it build it make it again and i got nothing to balance like everything was super heavy i can't balance the table no Piece of flooring, nah. All right, go and get something to eat.